The last slide gave you a guideline for when to use simple versus fractional distillation. Other sources give different guidelines. They say you can use simple distillation when the difference in boiling points is 30 degrees or 40 degrees, or perhaps when the liquid starts out relatively pure. In the place of guidelines, your task is to compare the process of simple distillation to fractional distillation for the separation of a mixture of water and ethanol. Your goal is to evaluate which method should be used for this separation. Your criteria are that you would like to use the easiest method that gives an acceptable result for this application. And remember, your application is to produce ethanol for use as a fuel. Kinetic molecular theory says that individual gas molecules are continuously in motion with an average kinetic energy. Temperature is a measure of that average energy. If you have a glass of water at room temperature, at any time some fraction of the molecules will have sufficient energy to escape from the surface of the liquid and into the gas phase. This explains the phenomenon of vapor pressure. It also explains why water evaporates. As the temperature increases, vapor pressure increases, and so does the rate of evaporation. When the temperature increases to the point at which vapor pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure, bubbles will form throughout the liquid and, give ri and rise to the surface. That's what we call boiling. 